The fellow stag, EKG Pro Studio. I'm literally out of breath after saying that name. We're gonna crack it open and take a look at the performance. But before we do that, if you haven't done so yet, I would really appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot and helps me out. Manuals that we're not gonna look at now. Kettle, base, looks like that's about it. Ooh, this glass top is very nice. So the new Stag EKG Pro and Pro Studio both have these beautiful screens that really enable you to dig down deeper into the menu and do some super cool stuff. They're full color, beautiful, and just a nice addition. The main difference between the Pro and the Pro Studio is that the Pro Studio has this glass top that is just this extra nice touch. I will say it is super fingerprinty. So beware of that if you aren't into that thing. For my original, fellow stag. I had the white version. I had the same exact philosophy with my Gen 1 Ode versus my Gen 2 Ode. I went black with both of my new ones because they just show coffee and coffee grounds a little bit less. So yeah, I've got it turned on here and I mean the screen is beautiful. It's full color. If I click in here in the menu, the first thing I see, which is the reason I got this kettle, is the schedule feature. So you can schedule this thing to turn on, which is, for me, an extra step to save time whenever I'm making a pour over in the morning. I can prep my water in this kettle the night before, schedule it to start heating the next morning, and when I walk downstairs at that given time, my kettle will be ready for me to make my pour over. It's huge. It is a completely ridiculous and unnecessary thing, but it's just that little creature comfort. This is supposed to be a creature comfort. It's a $200 kettle. So for Fellow to add that intentional extra thing, it's really nice. You have the hold feature, which the original had. You can set your hold between off, 15, 30, 45, or an hour. You also have this guide mode, which I'm never going to use, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. If you need the guide mode, then it's there. You have a chime feature that you can toggle on and off and set between volumes of one and 10. You can switch your units between Celsius and Fahrenheit. You can change your altitude to change your boiling temp. Very nice feature up here in the North Georgia mountains. And there's also a pre-boil feature that you can toggle on and off. This kettle is Wi-Fi compatible. Fellow says that that is for future updates, which I just don't know what that means. My hope is that there will be some amount of smart home feature. I have all these NFC tags around my house that I can tap and they turn on a light. If I could tap an NFC tag upstairs and then it turns on my kettle downstairs, again, it's ridiculous, but that would just be so sick. Nothing much design-wise has changed other than the new top and the menu button. It does feel like the lid is a bit tighter as well, which I really like. So that was a super quick look at this. My review so far, I like it. I don't personally know if I would upgrade if I was coming from the old one, unless you really want that schedule feature specifically. I would say that is the most intriguing thing for me. Other than that, I would probably stick with what you have. If you don't have a kettle at all, I might not get this glass one, honestly. I mean, obviously I got it, but it is super, super fingerprinty. And just for that to be in the kitchen, it seems like that might get annoying. So if you're buying one, maybe go with the Fellow Stag EKG Pro rather than the Pro Studio. You'll save a few bucks and you'll still get that schedule feature and whatnot. Huge shout out to Fellow with all of their new products, really taking into account the feedback from the consumer and making changes that we all love to see. I do have the review for the Fellow Ode Gen 2 down in the description if you wanna check that out. But other than that, until next time, peace.